All right, guys. Okay. So it's going to be Haruka versus Haruka here. Big Kills oh and War Guy both opting for the Speed Demon Ninja. And we're going to get this game started. Let's do this. Q on the mic for the uh, the the play-by-play. -play. So I'll go ahead and start and do introductions because I'm the fl the color guy. All right, so we have our number two versus our number thirteen again. War guy and Big Kells. This is a high tier match, and right now they are both playing Haruka. Big Kells with the loud at the back. War guy's juiced. He's going to throw a hop, a bat return hop. Big Kells right on the back panel gets in there. Nice throw. And uh, I think Kells is up 12 to nothing. Yeah, and when you see those those filths from the middle, sometimes they're really hard to read. You don't know if they're going to be a knuckleball or not. Oh, man. War guy. Almost, Kells almost got to that super, but that is going to even almost even the score up to 12 to 11 now. Yeah, and those supers, it shouldn't happen. <laughs> shouldn't happen. You know it. <laughs> Big Kells jumps for that one. War Guy's juiced again. He's going to throw a nice hop right back panel again. That looks really familiar. Big Kells couldn't quite reach it. Uh, now uh, War Guy's up 25 to 12. Yeah, and the, those knuckleballs, they're just really hard to read sometimes, especially on a juiced character. Yeah. War Guy's going to go with a wall skip about the hash mark, and now he's going to go wall skip on the other side. War Guy's juiced again, but he loses it on a straight throw. The field throw, Big Kells. War Guy gets to it. Big Kells is underneath this. He's going to charge his super. It's a, wow, you don't get faster than that, and that takes the, he now takes the lead, 29-25. Yeah, it's such a close game right now between Big Kells and War Guy. It's a lot closer than the last matchup we saw where War Guy just walked away with it. Yeah, definitely, definitely. See, now we got both combatants juiced here. He's going to throw a nice shot over. War guy gets under a lob. He, oh, I think what Kells was thinking maybe it was going to come down the sideline, but uh, it doesn't. Goes across the middle, and now uh, War guy's up 40 29. <laughs> we call that the old rope dope. See? <laughs> the old rope dope. You know it. All right, let's see where we're at here. Let's see. Big, oh, Big Kells just couldn't quite reach that one, and that's going to tip that set all the way to War guy 52 29. Yeah, it's one of those things that those juice shots with her are just so much better than her regular shots. It's sometimes hard to get to. Yeah, sometimes it'll catch you by surprise. Speaking of which, War Guy's going to pop that super there and just uh, Z throw it right on through. 12 to nothing. War Guy out to an early lead. Should never happen. War, <laughs> War Guy out to an even bigger lead now at 18 to nothing. I'd have to serve. Yeah, and right now, War Guy just kind of flexing his muscle. Yeah, that hop throw there that gets in on him, that gives him tw 26 points now. He's over halfway there to win in the set. Now he's up 34 to nothing. He's just kind of moving Big Kells around the court, it looks like. Yeah, right now it seems like he's downloaded Big Kells' is Haruka. But, I mean, Big Kells still has an opportunity to come back to this. It's only 34 points. Yep, he's going to super throw that. Big Kells is going to catch it with a nice play and to return the wall right back on him that's pink, and that's enough to get in there. He's got on the board now with 13 points. Dude, put your butt up, put your butt away. No jam here, guys. Absolutely. Nice play by Big Kells there to kind of get, try to get some momentum going, I think. Uh, oh, War Guy with a nice short hop, juiced, and uh, he's up 45-13. Dude, it's those misdirection shots that get a lot of players. No, War Guy catches another super again. So Kells is going to wall ride that, hop. Big Kells jumps for that, loses his juice. War Guy short hops off the wall. Big Kells has got it off a jump. He short hops. War Guy's got that. Now he is juice. Short hop back across. Now it's hop, and War Guy puts it right on the post. He takes that set. Yeah, and that is going to be game one. Two sets to none. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite matchups, Q, the Haruka versus Haruka, because it's like mm -hmm. old school disc jam where it's just kind of a juice war. I love me a juice war, man. I go back <laughs> to, you know, like watching Fi and Sweet play before Hunted really came on the scene, and that, that was my favorite time in disc jam. Yeah, War Guy sneaks that uh, straight throw right past him, so that puts him up 10 to nothing. War Guy's going to... Uh... Oh, he's going to have a nice little filth throw there. Where Big Kells catches that. He's going to hop that back in and hits that post, and he's uh, almost evened it up 10 to 9. It's a good game, good start. Yeah, a lot of those shots we're seeing scoring are just like that one right there. It's those off-pace shots like the, the short hops or the skinny hops. 
Mm-hmm. There's a wall ride. Big Kells catches that. Now he's juiced. War Guy's going to filth across the court. Oh, War Big Kells with a nice short hop. Was that the second panel shot there? Put him up 25-10? That, 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 was, that was a back panel to back panel, basically. Back that panel to back beautiful, panel. Beautiful, beautiful angle. Yeah. Big Kells with a net lob there that just works. War Guy couldn't quite reach it. Who heard of that? That Huruka didn't have quite enough speed. So War Guy's juice now with that hop throw. So is Big Kells with that hop throw. Now they're bouncing it off the walls. Oh, what a filth by Big Kells. That is nice. Dude, the purity on Kells. that one. That was 24 carat right there. 24 that was... carat. A war guy with a super return, super return into another super return. War guy stops it. Now he's juice. He's going to go with the net lob. Big Kells just rushes it. Goes for the 50 50. And like you always say, Compton, if net. The guy with the disc should win every time. Yeah, I mean, he went with the quick curve there, which was the right move with Big Kells coming forward. If he would have, he he should have gone to the left with it, but it still nets him the score. Yeah, uh, both juiced here with a couple of hop throws, and that no, oh, yeah, a nice little hop throw right on the post, and that is getting a little tighter. Oh, uh, Big Kells rushes another net lob, and uh, War Guy punishes him again with a quick curve. 43-45. And we War are guy. into a pseudo jam point here right now. This disc will end this set. And there it is. Big Kells, another uh, short hop off that back panel and uh, gets, sneaks a by him. Yeah, those short hops have been scoring all game. And we're into the yep. next set. Absolutely. War Guy, juiced. Got a weird little wall, wall, wall shot, and uh, War Guy punishes that with a, uh, a super. He's up 13 to nothing. Yeah, supers that early in the rally. Very easy to get with the pop-up mechanic, and I don't know. I just feel it should never happen. Well, that one did hit three walls, so I think somebody could probably make an argument <laughs> again on some of those. But yes, uh, yes. with that nice uh, that nice back panel throw, War Guy's up 25 to nothing, and uh, Big Kells is kind of looking to try to get something going here. Let's see what he can do. Uh, War Guy's juiced now. Big Kells throws a hop. War Guy pops it up and then comes back with a filth shot. Really nice one. Big Kells did get to it, though. He's going to hop that one. All, oh, my gosh. What a nice throw that was. 39 to nothing, War Guy. Yeah, and what you saw there was War Guy was controlling the juice. He continually made Big Kells slide. And when you cannot build that juice, like I said earlier, you cannot win with Haruka. Yeah, that's true. War Guy goes up 49 to nothing on another nice play there. Big Kells does not want to get jammed. I do not believe. If he does, he may get relegated to playing Q, and nobody wants to do that. <laughs> oh, my gosh, what a skimmer from Big Kells, 49-11. He's on the board. One of the toughest shots to do to the game, in the game, but that is where you want to do it from, that hash mark into the wall on the skinny fill. All right, wall ride from Big Kells from, from about the hash mark. As he tabled, fields that hop, and then like a little bank shot, and a wall ride. War guy's underneath a lob. He's going to go filth cross court, and a nice his hits that back panel, maybe the second back panel, but Big Kells is on the wrong side, and uh, War guy's going to take that one. Yeah, War guy just controlling the juice battle in that whole set. It was in the 60s versus 11. It wasn't a jam, but it was there. It was close. Yeah, it was it felt like it was really one sided. That's a nice back panel throw. Short hop from Big Kells and he's up eleven to nothing. Yeah, and it, like I said before, those misdirection shots are just brutal in a prediction game. And a nice super catch by Big Kells. He's gonna have to do it again and he cannot and War Guy now evens it up at eleven. Let's see what Big Kells can answer. He's gonna go with a hop, another hop answer by War Guy. Oh, it's just they're just hopping back. There's a filth throw cross court, and Big Kells does catch that. He throws has a short hop that. Now they're both juice wall ride and just gets in a war guy. And Big Kells is up twenty to eleven in this one. Yeah, and he saw War Guy running to that left side. He's like, I'm going right back to that wall ride, because it's gonna get me the score. Yeah, the, Phil, the war guy scores on a fill shot there. Gets closer, four points behind, 22-18. Big Kells is going to super that lob. War guy plays it really well, pops it up, and now Big Kells is juiced, but he answers with a wall right. He's going to answer with a, a short hop. Now he's back underneath another lob, and now when he supers again, war guy plays it again really well. And Big Kells is juiced, and this time he goes with a cross-court uh, short hop, and that one works. Now he's up 37-18. Yeah, and there were so many supers there from Big Kells. Right now, he has switched over and is controlling this juice battle right now. Yeah, definitely. War Guy's going to throw it straight down the sideline. Big Kells is using a short hop there. Tries to fill that in. There's a hop. There's a cross-court post, and War Guy gets it right on the back panel, and he's closed the gap to four points. Sometimes all you need to do is throw it straight at that post, and it works just perfectly. 
Yeah, sometimes this is the easiest solution, the simplest solution is the correct one. Big Kells with a nice catch on that. I think he decided to just pre decided 50 50 that, and now War Guy's in the lead 45 37. Yeah, and this is going to be an advantage rally for War Guy. If he scores this disc, he does get the win. War Guy's under that lob. Now he's juiced. After that short hop, he's in back into the corner. What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to try to fill that. Big Kells has to jump. Lost his, he's going to have to restart his juice build. Oh, he pre-rid that, and then he let off the shield. I thought he had it. Now War Guy catching that one off the wall. He's juice short uh, the hop, regular hop. He's underneath another lob. Now he short hops that, and, and, and Big Kells just could not quite reach it. He goes down. What a nice match. You are not joking, Compton. Haruka v. Haruka is an exciting match. It is an exciting a thing. gem to watch. Yes, it is an amazing thing to watch. And that is another 2-0 win from War Guy. So looking at this match, I mean, we can easily say that, you know, Haruka, it's about juice battle. Haruka v. Haruka. In fact, just playing Haruka is about a juice battle. And War Guy solidly had that juice battle in his control the majority of that match. And it's one of those things that... Even though he had it, Big Kel still able to put up 146 points. Did get a set in game two. He was on his way to downloading War Guy. I mean, in that set that he won, it was it was a drastically different game, man. He really just kind of downloaded War Guy, started playing in a way that you know gave him the advantage in that juice war, but he just could not maintain it in that third set of game two. You know, and I think it comes back to something that you were saying earlier about, about Big Kells playing Kahuna and how it requires so much uh, predetermination and, 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 and being able to read your opponent and know what they're going to do. And I think we saw a little bit of that come out as the match got on, as you saw a little bit of that skill come out and it got a little bit closer. And uh, you even saw some supers getting built up uh, by Big Kells. Of course, War Guy seemed to be fielding them pretty well and so that he couldn't really build it into an advantage. But I definitely think you were seeing some of the, some of that, like exactly what you're saying, some of that, his, those gears were working on Big Kells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think the, the more and more these guys play, the closer and closer those games are going to